Finally, some good news to report. Susan Rice and Obama just got some devastating news from Congress, my friends. It is now beginning. Carter, for the Gateway Pundit, Al reports that the House Intelligence Committee issued seven subpoenas today related to the Obama unmasking scandal. Seven subpoenas were issued by the House Intelligence Committee regarding Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. The subpoenas are related to the illegal unmasking of political opponents by the Obama administration. And according to a Wall Street Journal report, three of the seven total subpoenas are regarding reports that say that members of the, quote, Trump team were identified in foreign surveillance reports and had their names unmasked. The Wall Street Journal stated that the House Intelligence Committee issued seven subpoenas on Wednesday. Seven. They write that this is a sign that the investigation into the alleged Russian meddling in the 2016 election is ramping up in scope and intensity. That's according to people close to the matter. They write here that the Republican-led committee issued four subpoenas related to the Russia investigation. Three subpoenas are related to questions about how and why the names of associates related to President Donald Trump were unredacted and distributed within classified reports by Obama administration officials during the transition between administrations. Let me repeat that, okay? The Republican-led committee issued four subpoenas. Three of them were related to questions about how and why the names of associates were unmasked by the Obama administration. <clears throat> and who did the unmasking? Susan Rice. Oh, yes. They write here the committee has subpoenaed the National Security Agency the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and the, and the Central Intelligence Agency for information about what is called unmasking. They continue here that Republicans on the committee have been pushing for a thorough investigation of how the names of Trump campaign officials became exposed in classified intelligence reports based off intelligence community intercepts. The subpoenas are seeking information on requests made by former National Security Advisor Susan Rice former CIA Director John Brennan and former United States Ambassador Samantha Power for names to be unmasked in the classified material. Now they say here that the three did not personally receive subpoenas, according to people close to the case. They say Mr. Brennan, Ms. Rice, and Ms. Power did not immediately respond to requests for comments. Of course they wouldn't. My friends, this is the first step in getting to the bottom of this the first step in justice, the first step in, in getting answers on why Susan Rice, Obama, unmasking the opponent's names simply because they wanted to create a problem, landmines, leaks, undermining the President of the United States of America, undermining the Constitution, undermining the privacy of Americans. If there's, if there's anything that, my friends, this is, this is a high crime. This is treason. This is treason. And these people need to be held to account because they are undermining this nation with their actions. It's, it's unbelievable. I hope and I pray to God above that justice is served and it is served swiftly. Comment below, subscribe for updates. If you agree with me on this topic, hit that share button. I'll see you at the next report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. Did you know that 50% of men over the age of 40 have some degree of erectile dysfunction? This doesn't need to happen to you. Improve your sexual health with Xterra. No prescription needed. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Xterra if you take nitrates for chest pain, as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Improve your sexual health with Xterra, a male enhancement substitution product meant for over-the-counter use. Try Xterra today.
you possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report and to get more videos like this, become an X News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.